Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. the button welcome to the how to hustle podcast with hype this is episode 75 you follow me on instagram and twitter at i am hype that's h-y-m-p-e it's hype it's not hype i'm not geeked up special guest in the building international hype is not just a hashtag it's a way of life introduce yourself to the audience you already know man it's your boy sb sb high star from the htg podcast where anything goes yo it's your boy cash y'all y'all already know what time it is we live we lit and we most definitely live and what's up what it do htg in the building let them know where y'all coming from. Uh, Greenville, South Carolina, man. I'm recording right now in the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina, though. Yes, sir. Greenville, G Vegas. Y'all already know. Shouts out to my Greenville folks. We're going to get into that in the rundown. Uh, okay, mm-hmm. Monday, every Monday, 2 o'clock on the E-Block Radio Network. Tuesdays, GFT Radio Network, 2 o'clock. Wednesdays is 216 The Blend. It's 8 a.m., 8 p.m. Central. Eastern Standard Time, excuse me. Uh, WTNUPhilly.com, Thursday, 1230, every Thursday. Friday is the I Say Podcast Radio Network. Shout out to Greenville. And Saturday is the THC Media. THC Media, 10 a.m. every Saturday. We still looking to fill in that Sunday slot, y'all. Custom Hustle World. Custom Hustle World on Instagram is my clothing line. You get your custom jerseys, jackets. We got the hockey jersey. We got the basketball jerseys in there now. The baseball jerseys been in. The sweatsuits. The baby clothes, all of us in. You know what I'm saying? You need to customize, get at me. We will make it happen for you over at Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter, Custom Hustle World on Instagram, and H2H Cleaning. H2H Cleaning is my cleaning company. It's a tri-state area situation, but if y'all got something down there in Greenville worth my while, I'll slide down there on y'all to make it happen. Now, <laughs> episode 75. Y'all ready? Locked and loaded? Locked and loaded. What you willing to sacrifice for success? We all try to turn it. Well, not all of us. A lot of us are trying to turn these podcasts and these different things into successful business situations. What you willing to sacrifice to make that happen? Mm, thank you, never man. Like I think the most uh, most uh, precious thing would be time. If I can sacrifice my time, I'm willing to sacrifice something that I ain't ready to get back. So I got to make every uh, every minute, every second, every hour. I got to make the time. And so that's that's. I think that's the biggest sacrifice. You feel me? Jump on it. It's on me. Yeah. Let the yeah, go uh, first. I would say, um, I don't want to say sound cliche, but time and uh habits, man. Just trying to overcome past trauma and do better with situations that you done already put yourself in just to build and you know what I'm saying, succeed, getting over the humps, overcoming your downs and still looking at your dream, like, is going to pan out. I'm willing to sacrifice everything, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Keeping my eyes on the dream, staying focused, and being clear. I sacrifice everything except for my love with my kids. You know what I'm saying? I got to succeed because that's why I want to succeed. So. so I don't want nobody to hear this and hear that. Uh, we saying sell your soul or sell out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already know that. Yeah. No, nah, I mean, you know, you got to throw disclaimers out. Everybody ain't that sharp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I would say you got to sacrifice some of your relationships. The mm, one boy, thing- look, I wanted to take it there, but go ahead. I'm gonna let you go. Go I, ahead. Nah, we like we like to go all the way there here on the How to Hustle podcast, right? <laughs> um, so the whole situation is you got to sacrifice some of the relationships. If you always the smartest nigga in the room, you got to get out of the building. Okay? Right. And if you want to go somewhere, you want to really do something with whatever it is that you're doing. It ain't even got to be a podcast. If you rap, sing, play piano, paint houses, whatever the fuck it is that you do, you got to build relationships and be able to, like you said, sacrifice that time and put all that effort, that energy into making that shit work. And if you half-ass it and half-go about it and one foot in, one foot out, then you're going to get the results of one foot in, one foot out. But if you go like, look, everybody always says the same shit about, man, my circle done got so much smaller over the years. It ain't that your circle got smaller. It did be that you got kids and you got a wife or some shit. And now you got to focus on that instead of it's just me and my man 24-7, 365. I don't love you no less. It's just that I can't focus all my energy on the shit that we was doing. 
Mm-hmm. We if we always talking about what we was doing and what was going on, then we can't mm-hmm. get to what's going to happen. So you got to sacrifice some of those relationships, not all of them relationships, but you got to sacrifice bits and pieces from damn near every relationship. Even like you said, your kids will be your motivation and make the shit happen. But mm-hmm. as a man, <clears throat> even as a woman, you have to sacrifice time away from them to be able to make any other shit happen. Like this, regardless of whatever it is that your lane is, you gotta sacrifice time away from them and away from it to make it happen. Unless you're gonna hit this, unless you're gonna hit the number, you hit the number, and uh, you just instantly lit. But other than that, you know what I'm saying we gotta sacrifice a little bit of everything. That, that that relationship was tying back into that trauma I was saying, like like you said, having certain bonds with people and feeling like you gotta be there or. Doing this and that, you gotta say, like cut all that shit short and focus on what you got going. You like you said, you ain't got time to be with your homeboys every day. You ain't got time to be doing unnecessary shit. If you're trying to succeed, then you gotta put your best foot forward every day. I mean, so I definitely understand you with that, bro. Definitely do. Yeah, I mean, it's one of them things where everybody wants shit to happen instantly, and it just don't happen like that. Nah. Everybody want that cake to come. Everybody want that cake come straight out the oven, but that shit gotta bake. You know what I'm saying right. you got you got to you got to tiptoe around that oven and wait till that shit done. The grind. Yeah, you got to let it work. That's my whole situation. While I tell my fuckers, my shit is I'm a full time hustler, and yeah. everything is a hustle. Is on my that's on my jacket. That's on the wristbands. That's on everything because everything can be hustled. But that's my whole shit. I love this shit. I'll never look at this shit like work. I tell people. Man, I'm about to do six episodes a day. Like, damn, you doing it like that? Man, I love this shit. Because people are yeah. people gonna tune in no matter what the fuck I'm talking about. I can say, yo, I'm melting cheese on a on a burger today. They're gonna say, damn, why I ain't doing that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I can say I'm going spicy mustard versus regular mustard. They're gonna say, Well, damn, it must be a reason why you're talking about that shit. They're gonna listen yeah. to it. Yeah. But you got to sacrifice it all to make that shit happen. Thanks. Right, right. Right. Got so let me let me let me ask you this: How was you? How how, did, how long did it take you to feel your fan base, like, like your core fan base? All right, so I'll give you a little little walk back. Uh, 2017, I started doing podcasting. My mm. brother, uh, we OLF podcast. Shout out to OLF. That's why I told y'all my old podcast was ten niggas. Yeah, okay. um, started off with just me and my brother then it just became like the whole block and the whole hood uh, but we started in 2017 I was the one running the pages so okay. when I'm building the different relationships here there and everywhere that's just how it happens they know you the, they know your yeah, face they know me from talking to everybody so mm-hmm. now when I leave that situation cause just you know the business situations everybody don't look at business the same it's all yeah. love. I love them niggas dearly. Like I said, that's my brother and all my brothers. But mm. it's just business. It ain't personal. So when I start my own situation and I throw How to Hustle out there, once I put my name out there, all these people know my name already because I'm the one that you've been talking to all this damn time. So mm. again, that was me sacrificing a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of effort with my kids and my wife and all of that to be able to build the brand, to be able to build the name, to be able to be like I said, once I make a phone call and say, yo, what's up with this, that, or whatever, niggas is going to answer the phone if I'm calling. But all of that happens when you sacrifice and like mm. you sacrifice everything. Not just what are you willing to sacrifice because it got to be every fucking thing. You got to be willing gotta to sacrifice. got to be everything. Everything. Definitely. Most definitely. Everything, that's the only thing. So what would you say your end goal would be? What does that success look like? We did that episode before. Shout out to Sam and Si from Sipping with Sammy Podcast. But for y'all, you say I'm sacrificing it all to get to success. Well, what is that success? I, I say the success to me on my end, like just trying to, as far as the podcast, it'd be more just being able to spark that conversation. Like people like, you know, podcast this, podcast that. But at the end of the day, it's just the success would be, I would say the recognition. I don't, but I really don't need nobody patting me on the back. But knowing that we can spark the conversation to people feeling free and being themselves to come on. That's how I look at it. That would be success for me. Not only, and that'll be gratifying on my end as far as like because you I got more so saying the in, so you more so saying like the influence then. Yeah, the inf- yeah, yeah, the influence, and then 
other than that, if we if, if we definitely can monetize it, well, I can do it every day. I would not every. If this is what I woke up to do every day instead of punching in a clock or something like that. That would be the greatest success for me. Cause I'm like, okay, if I can get this amount of money here from a nine to five, if I can get that from podcasting and everything that's uh, intertwined with it, from merch to branding, marketing, all that stuff, just being a bay, like you said, doing live shows, selling out uh, whatever venue it may be, whether it's a fifty person venue to a five hundred person uh, venue, you know what I'm saying? Like that would be definitely success for me. But the influence is definitely the main thing. And then I think everything gets a uh, it'll it'll fall in line, man. Once you uh, the topic of discussion. Then you know, as long as you, as long as your your discussion is always good or positive or whatever it may be, shit, it might be negative. Just depends on who feeding into it or who's tapping in. Shit, you can you can go from there, really. Uh, my success kind of like being the voice, man. Telling people, y'all you know I mean a lot of stuff that y'all you know I mean that we weren't told when we was younger. Being the voice for these young men, letting them hear these conversations that we having as men and giving them hope in the future or women too you feel me and just being able to take care of my family and like you said wake up and do this every day because i really love doing this shit you know what i'm saying so you know i mean like, i went to college to do this got in trouble ended up going right back to doing this type of shit so i really feel like it's destined for me you know what i mean so you know what i mean getting like i said getting paid and being able to Wake up with my kids knowing that your daddy is a personality today. He made himself a known personality, a known voice around the world. Yeah, see, my whole joint would be, the success would be, I don't even want fame. Fame fame looks like it's something horrible. I don't really, <laughs> it, um, it's not just the fame, it's just more of like, I would I say influence though, like being I mean like being a big brother, the younger kids coming up, talking about the streets, the struggle, what paths not to take, and what you know what I'm saying, that type of shit. It ain't just about being famous so people will know me. You feel me? No, 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 no. I wasn't saying I ain't. I wasn't yeah. saying that you said that. That's what you were saying. What no, I'm okay, talking okay. about is shit like you can't go walk these kids to the corner store. You can't be in the mall. You can't go mm. get a sandwich. That's why I said, for me, fame looks terrible. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. I'm too much of a private person to want to have that type of shit. So mm. for me, success mm. would just be, like you said, turning this into the sole income. If mm. I could turn my thoughts, ideas, and all of my work ethic into the sole income, that's the success right mm. there. You know what I'm right. saying? Not right. to have to depend on anybody else because all of this shit started with 2020 once the shutdown hits and all of that. My wife is pregnant when all of that happened and there's too many niggas who you watching them tell people, yo, we no longer require your position. You've been working here for 13 years. You've been working here for 20 right. years. You're working here for 25. Right. But we don't need you no more. And once they got right. into that type of situation, I'm like, they ain't happening in my job, but mm. it was like, I can't allow us it to happen It happened at mine. It happened at my job. See what I'm saying? Yeah. But how long was you at that job? I went in there long. I was at my job before that even longer. But yeah, I went there long. But that's what I'm saying. I couldn't allow my situation to be like I said. My wife is pregnant when this shit happens. Mm -hmm. So it's like you can't just have. Oh yeah. Now they shut. They they stop the situation. Now what? You can't have nobody looking at you talking about daddy. What we eating tonight? And you going? Uh, um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you can make money off your ideas, then that's yeah. the total goal. Baby. So yeah, being able to generate. Revenue off of my own thought processes, my own ideas. Anytime, some shit. That, some shit that Anytime, I can exactly. That's why mm -hmm. I got so many different branches of the company. How to Hustle Enterprise is my company, but yeah. so many different branches of the company because it's like if this one don't pop, then that one will pop. I just did a cleaning job today <laughs> on route to coming to do the podcast. Mm -hmm. You gotta always intertwine these different situations because, like I said, it's all about it's all about what. I'm willing to do. And that's the part that I like about it. I don't like depending on no fucking body else. Depending on other people, right. it's like, I know you right. ain't gonna go as hard. I know you ain't gonna right. go as hard as me, so I can't want to depend on you because I know if I got to depend on you, you're gonna let me down because you ain't gonna go as hard as me. Yeah. I'm an extremist. I go to, I do, I know I'm an extremist. And I yeah. know I'm gonna go too hard and do too much. And if I see that you ain't going too hard and doing too much, I can't fuck with you. <laughs> Gotta get the fuck away from you. 
that made that made perfect sense. Everybody don't see your vision. They don't see why you're trying to go as hard to get there because everybody don't believe in your dream, man. I like I was saying on the podcast the other day. I like I, I'm getting to the point where it's like no expectations at all. If I if I can keep my mind away from the expectations, then I want I want I'm not putting myself in a position to be let down in any type of way. Mm-hmm. So and that goes with our relationships. That goes from my my parents, my family, my girl. You know what I'm saying? My friends, my homies. Like I just I don't need to be placing no type of labels or expectations on anybody. I need to expect for myself to be the best person I can be. Because at the end of the day, I tell a lot of people, like, you die by yourself. I ain't never met nobody that came back and told me what it's like on the other side. So, shit, it is what it is. Yeah, that's that's the whole situation right there. It's just like, the expect, I try out the same shit where try not to expect nothing from nobody because that's how you get let down. You that's build how you up, get let down. You build yeah. up something your own mind for them to meet that they don't even know that they got to meet. That's how relationships get fucked up, but that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother time. You know what I'm saying? Whole time. We can make that one happen later. <laughs> but expectations is how you fuck up any relationship. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> because you come in expecting a motherfucker to be on 10, and when they come in at 8, it's like, all right, well, damn, they on 8, but you go, I'm expecting 10, and I only need 10. Yeah. But that's why if a motherfucker come in, and they hit you with an 8, and you ain't expecting nothing, you go, shit, I, I like that. We can work with that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But... Yeah. Now, let's switch it up a little bit and talk about any things possible. We got five rules on the podcast. Let the How to Hustle listeners know what the five rules are when they come to any things possible. Oh, yeah. You already know, man, on the Hit Thing Go podcast, man, we got five rules. First rule is to be yourself. Second rule is to have fun. And rule three, four, five is drink, drink, drink. Drink, so, drink, drink, drink. Yeah. yeah, just don't get caught up on that three, four, five, man. You'll be <laughs> walking with the wobble legs. Boy, you'll be throw, boy. Tell me about a guest that we had that got caught up too much in the three, four, five on the podcast. <laughs> oh my boy, what's my boy name? Oh, uh, um, Gastonia. He had came with them two twins. Oh, uh, uh, little Snoop, little Snoop, 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 yeah, Snoop, Snoop, Snoop G. Boy, he went. He, he I don't went think crazy. he knew. He don't, I don't think he knew what was going on. He just kept busting shot. He was so excited. He kept going shot for shot, shot for shot, shot for shot. They be like we we get them, we get them in the conversation, and then we smooth the little drinks in there. And that, uh, once you know, man, they start taking all type of shots. Be looking crazy, man. Once you get them defenses down, then you're yeah, saying yeah, that's what it be though. You feel me? But we don't be trying to embarrass. We don't try to embarrass <laughs> nobody or nothing. But you know what I mean. We got to try to loosen them up, man. You feel me? Hey, like, this is like Kiss said, you all grown, bitch. You came here <laughs> on your own. <laughs> all right? I didn't make you drink Fact. this. Yeah. Fact. We didn't make oh, you yeah. drink four or five shots. You decided to get caught up mm-hmm. on three, four, five. All Fact. right? I we done had guests that went through two bottles, bro. Like, two bottles of Hennessy. What? Just two buzzing back to back. I was like, damn. But Snoop G, he, it was a great podcast. We just didn't. We. We knew he was lit on camera, but when the camera cut out, that's what we knew he was done. Out. He was done, man down. Mm-hmm. Didn't know what happened to him. Tell me this: you got brand new listeners coming from How to Hustle podcast that's going to tap into y'all. Tell them what do they, which episode? Give me one or two episodes that you say you got to check out this to get a good gauge for who we are. Yeah, def- definitely, you want. I, I tell everybody to t- check out uh, episode one off top. Uh, that was just me and Gorgeously Red and uh, William Coke in the back. I hold up now. We uh, all know. <laughs> we all know our first episode or two be rough when we get. Yeah, back to the yeah, I want. I wanted to see it, like see the see how. I, to see the I didn't even know what the I didn't know what the lights was. I'm buying lamps from Walmart, bro. Like trying to point the lamps toward the oh, uh, bro. It's like it's just dark as shit in there, bro. Like and we. <laughs> But we had Barbara and Nicole on their two bartenders in Greenville, bro, and they and it was a great conversation with them. But like just to see, cause we visual on YouTube, HCG podcast on YouTube. But like, bro, from the first one to now, even now we still working out. But the first one, I say just look at it so you can be like, okay, that's it. And then I would say another good one that that I think we had would be uh, what's my boy? What's my um, what's the old lady name? I can't even think of old girl name, but uh, what are you talking about, bro? The um, something that oh, we do. Uh, what's name? Um, the um, ladies in lace uh, episode with uh, with my girl uh, Nakisia. Um, 
Ah, oh, shit. Uh, and some more. And, and, and my other girl, man, I can't even think her name right. Shar, Shar, she, yeah, cool. she, got her own, she got her own lingerie line, but it was just more like we set the mood. But basically, I just got the rose petals, got the candles, and I set a vibe, and then she had her lingerie up. And then we just like, got to talk, talk to He her was in his sweet like bag. He was being sweet. He was being sweet. He was in his sweet bag. <laughs> All right, see, hold up. I ain't that damn. See, I ain't wasn't even hip to the YouTube. I only caught the audios, so I got to check yeah. out these YouTubes and get the visual aid too. Oh yeah, um, get the visual definitely. This is one yeah, thing now that we do here on the How to Hustle podcast. When you throw somebody's name out, we shouting people out. Perfectly fine, love it. When you send them this episode, you tell them niggas we only accept five stars over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> no four star mm-hmm. reviews. We only we only pound skis. All right, got to be a hit. <laughs> Gotta now, be tell me this you said y'all on like one what y'all on one y'all like two, 157 I'm thinking yeah. 56 but okay 157 what's the goal what are we trying to hit what are we trying to hit uh, once we hit up to I guess let's say by the time we hit 200 what are we looking to have accomplished uh, right now, like I said, we're in a rebranding mode. So now I got. I think um, one fifty. You was like, damn, we gotta have a party or something. I think that was like episode yep. one fifty. Yeah, we supposed yeah, to have we supposed to have a party, but we we I don't even know I don't even think we did a party. But what we gonna like? So we started in November nineteen. So this November, when we switched and unveiled the new the new setup for the podcast, it's definitely gonna be a party. But um, I just want um right now we're working with a young lady named uh Mary Matt. Uh, she's a professional photographer, vlogger. Shout out to Mary Matt. Yeah, she gonna Five she gonna stars, come on. Mary. She gonna hold some things <laughs> down. So she got she got a, she got a keen eye for the um for the visual how she wanted to look because I know how I wanted to look, but I probably I probably don't I don't um possess the tools to make it look how how I wanted to look. But see, she know how to work the lens. She a professional, so we finna bring in some different some different angles, make it look better. So we're like we in a cloud of smoke, and um. That, and we don't need to be smoking in the building. Huh? And yeah, we don't need to be smoking okay. in the building. So they let you know the camera just go crazy. The camera just be doing what it want to do when you don't even know how to work it. But that, that's the main thing. And some, and some better and get the editing right. You know, like with people looking at it, we want to be able to have somebody look at it and be like, okay, I want to watch this like I watch the Joe Budden podcast. Because we, we actually get way more downloads than we get um, views on YouTube. And then YouTube. That's I, what I said. I ain't even know about the YouTube. I'm audio Spotify boy. Yeah, I ain't yeah. Know about the YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's straight. Yeah, we definitely we de- our main thing was YouTube because the audio sometimes it be kind of I don't I set it up the same way every time, but that shit don't be sounding the same all the time. I be lost. I'm like, what what I do wrong this time? I actually recorded a whole podcast, straight visual, no audio, and it was with my man. He had just got out of prison. He was working on his second book. Day one, day one, day one. My goo, bro. Great podcast, you know. Just time yeah, right. We need, we need five stars, Davon. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, Davon, we gotta get that. And bro, I, yeah, he got, got a black, he podcast. got a black book. He got a black what's book for uh, what's, black what's young boys. Name? Got a book, for black young boys. Throw that name out now. Come on, Davon Magoo. That was saying. No, I just want the name of the book. That's Road uh, to Redemption. That's Road to Redemption. Yeah, I'll be that. I'm saying nothing cheap about these plugs. These plugs is expensive. Oh, <laughs> we, we be giving them out. Hey, hey. hey, bro, I like brother. I like bro for real. I like bro. Hey, man, listen, yeah. you, you miss all the shots you don't shoot. <laughs> oh yeah, me fat. Most fat. Shouts out to two. Damn, I'm to say this off top. Shouts out to Dirty D because Dirty D was the one who put me on y'all. Oh yeah, did, uh, shout out to Glow too. Like I said, I, I well, hey, I, hey. I, with her, with they crazy tail self. Yeah. yeah. That like I crazy, said, Dirty, Dirty D hopped on the joint and started bombing on Cuz when we was on that live. And it was like, okay, let's see what's up with her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No filter. She has no filter. She, she yeah. has no. That's that's who me, that's my uh, arch rival on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, they, they go back and forth. And we got a bounty on um, Dirty D panties too, bro. She ain't kissing no fucking. That's what she say every podcast. So. They ain't kissing no fucking so with just one of y'all can make her kiss all, you know. I mean, hey. They, they, got, they, got, they got $200 bounty on her draws. $200 $200 on the situation. Yes, yeah, sir. Copy that. Well, y'all, I appreciate y'all coming on. Well, Shout out to you, brother. Like I, 
Shouts out to Greenville. Like I said, got a lot of love down there. Got a lot of niggas on the ground down there. But that is episode 75. Throw out your handle one more time. Let them know where to follow y'all at and where to hit the YouTube at that I just found out about too. Oh, y'all Yo, HTG Podcast on YouTube, Instagram, SB High Star, Instagram. Uh, and uh, I think we got SB High Star on uh, Facebook, man. But yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, we on all audio, major audio platforms, man. Uh, so, you know, that's Apple, Spotify, uh, Buzzsprout, Stitcher, things of that nature. What day y'all drop? Ah, uh, bro, we dropped. We were so we recorded on Thursday. We try to drop, we try to drop the following Wednesday, but at the end of the day, we might record. If I edit it the next day, it's gonna drop. We we, it could, we that's and that's another thing working on consistent drop dates, man. Get our days right so people can know it's gonna come out. Cause I might put out at one point we did thirty in one one month, bro. I think we put out thirty episodes in the month of March. We just dropped them back to back to back. These niggas hustling like I ain't. <laughs> we trying to. We trying to. All right, y'all, that's episode 75. We are out. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up.